Ladies and gentlemen, we have a wonderful afternoon as usual ahead for you. But to officially welcome you to today's proceedings, would you welcome the chairman, shh, 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 the chairman of the Lansdowne Club, Mr. Peter Brennan. Thank you, thank you, David. Was it was an Angela really, really very smart? She smuggled Keith Urban in there, and nobody noticed. Kid Mila Falcha, Agus Law, Fela Padre. Welcome every, everyone to the Lansdowne Club St. Patrick's Day lunch. Now we know the actual day is on Sunday, but there's nothing like a really good rehearsal. There's over 100 and, uh, 1,350 people here today compared to when we started in 1987 with 160 people. So it's another world-breaking <laughs> St. Patrick's Day lunch. Today's rules are very simple. Enjoy the fine food and the wine, and more particularly, enjoy the great company. A special welcome back to the Premier of New South Wales, Bar Barry O'Farrell, and his wife, Rosemary. <laughs> and also to Luke Nolan, representing the New South Wales Labour Party. From federal government, welcome to Tony Burke, Minister for Sustainability and Environment. <laughs> Senator Conchetta Fioravanti Wells, Shadow Minister for Aging and Mental Health. And Consul General of Ireland, Katrina Inglesby. It was also, it's also wonderful to see here today the former Premier of New South Wales, John Fay. Now, we, we really appreciate, appreciate David Kosh filling in for Michael today, because um, David's a very busy man, but he sort of didn't really, didn't really, he led you down the garden path there with what he said. Most of us Gaelic scholars, we understand that the German word kosh comes from the Irish Keisha. And uh, of course, Saint Keisha was the patron saint of breastfeeding mothers. Um, he, stir he, he stirred you away from that one. Uh, funds raised from the raffle today will go to the youth off the streets and to Paul Ireland, who work with the most marginalised homeless people in Ireland. This year, the Irish government is promoting the gathering and encouraging everyone to visit Ireland in 2013. It is appropriate that our major raffle prize takes you there. Sponsored by James Dunn and Singapore Airlines is a fabulous two business class tickets, that's two business class tickets from Sydney to London. On the menu you'll find a QR code and if you point your smartphone at it, you'll see a video of the luxury of business class accommodation provided by Singapore Airlines. This truly great prize is supported by the generosity of Aer Lingus, Ava's Rent-A-Car, the Four Seasons Hotel, and the Irish Tourist Board. Other prizes include a box from the Waratahs at the Western Force Game, wine from Yolamba, a table of 10 from the Convention Center, a Luca Bloom signed guitar, and a priceless 20 minutes sitting in the Great Western Sydney coaches box with the iconic Kevin Sheedy. We're delighted that Kevin and David Checker are here today and Kashi will have a chat to them shortly. Guinness has been sponsoring us since our first lunch. And once again, many thanks to Tim Salt and Diageo for your ongoing support. Thank you also to Suntory for the Magnus Cider and Satanta for putting together the sports physio. Today is Today is a major wa watershed for this lunch. 
For the last 14 years, John Kelly has been trying to get us to grow it. And this year we had to disappoint 200 people because we just couldn't fit them into the room. Being a practical sort of bloke, John's actually going to knock the place down and rebuild it. <laughs> so next year we have to move to a new home. We've had a tremendous partnership with the Sydney Convention Centre uh, and to manage and director Tom Amerigon, events manager Travis Henry, a big thank you for making us so welcome. And in particular, John Kelly, whose sole focus was to work with us to ensure that everyone who attended our events here enjoyed themselves. Now, I want to tell you one thing about the Irish is that no matter what happens in the world, they've got to find a funny story about it. Well, anyway, as we know, there's a new Pope. He arrived yesterday, and this morning the joke started. So apparently, after all the official ceremonies were finished, he turned around to his driver and he said, look, for years I've wanted to get into the, the Pope's Maserati. So he said to the driver, come on, let's go for a quick spin. So the driver went to go into the driver's seat and the Pope said, no, in the back, I'm taking it. This is the most exciting thing I've been looking at for years. So the Pope jumps into the front of the car and off he goes and he's doing 200 k's up the uh, motorway. And the cop stops him and the cop comes over and uh, the Pope rolls down the window and the cop looks and he goes back to his patrol car and he rings, the, he rings uh, his chief and he says, Chief, I've got a major problem. The chief said, what's wrong? He said, look, I've stopped the car and there's somebody really, really famous in it uh, and I, can't, I don't know who he is. Uh, and the guy said, oh, you mean as famous as the mayor? And uh, the cop said, no, 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 he's much more famous than that. He said, oh, as famous as Berscaloni? And he says, no, 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 he's more famous than Berscaloni. And the, the chief said, but who could be more famous than uh, Berscaloni? He says, uh, I don't know, but his driver's the Pope. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we, uh, we gather here today to celebrate our Irish heritage and the enormous influence the Irish have had in the establishment of what we recognize as uh, Australian culture. In a funny way, Patrick saved civilization. He lived in a Roman community in Wales, and the Romans hadn't crossed the treacherous Irish Sea, and ne ne neither had uh, Christianity. Patrick was taken by pirates, and he spent six years there learning the uh, language and the culture. He escaped, became a bishop, and went back to tell them their story. And he really approached all the women. And then through the women, he got the men, which was quite a smart thing to do when you think about it. And uh, Christianity took off. Now, the interesting thing was when the vandals then raped and pillaged Europe and sort of burnt books and monasteries, it was Ireland that all the scholars returned to, and they documented the, uh, the history of, of the church and its teachings. In many ways, it was, pa it was Patrick who saved, who saved civilization, and today he's bringing us all together to enjoy our uh, community and, uh, and to have fun throughout the world. So I'd ask you to lift your glass and toast St. Patrick. To St. Patrick. Now finally, I'd like, to, this club doesn't operate without an enormous amount of work done by, by tremendous people. And I'd like to, um, to thank the following people who, who make it all happen. Uh, Nadine Brennan, Alice Bouchier, Ron Chandler, Coleman Clear, Jeff Cook, Lynn Curran, Eamon Eastwood, David Eccles, Damien Ennis, Ben Groom, Katrina Inglesby, Theresa Keating, Yvonne LeBas, Roseanne Mannion, Brian Mooney, Damien McAdam, Danielle McConville, Dennis McCormack, David O'Leary, Philip O'Sullivan, Michael Pascoe, Niall Parr, and Bernard Quayne. And if you could uh, show your appreciation in the usual way. Now, as you know, we, we do have a busy schedule today. 
and the convention centre wants us to be out of here by two, and that only gives us 13 hours, but we'll have to manage it. Gurumila <laughs> Mahogat.